So, we're going to Europe this semester trip, right? Haiti. That's what he said. Haiti's right next to Greece. No, no, no. That's Australia. We're going to Australia? Yes. No. Haiti. Haiti's going to Australia? <laughs> I knew it. No. We are going to Haiti. Australia is staying where it is. Yeah. Right next to Greece. What? How much is this going to cost? Because I got like a buck. Wait. I spent it on gum on my way home. You guys want some? <laughs> sure. I, I, I totally thought we weren't allowed in the church building. Dude, it's not like anybody's watching us. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Adam, let me have a piece. If you can get it out. Uh, uh, you know I hate raspberry root beer licorice flavored bubble gum. Dude, this stuff is the worst. Take, take that back. That's the best flavor ever. You know what? You can take it back. Oh, oh, get, okay, guys, guys. But seriously, I think it's going to take a little bit more than that to get you on this mission trip. I hear it's like 550 bucks. Dude, that's like $800 more. Dude, I know. I mean, that is like totally why we are here. Where are we? It, it looks like a stage, but I'm, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know, man. But the last time I woke up in a weird place, it was in the monkey cage at the zoo. You know those little, like... Those little quarter boxes with the little pellets in it, right before the... Well, I thought they were candy. Uh, apparently, they're not. I don't remember anything after that. But I made some new friends. Dude, I was so paid to see that. <laughs> <laughs> People hey. did pay to see it. <laughs> in fact, that was the main attraction for a while. <laughs> Anyways... My bubblegum flavor wore off. So, you guys, seriously, this thing is going to cost a bunch of money, which is why we're, like, totally being goobers here in front of a bunch of people we don't even know that happen to be eating spaghetti. I want spaghetti? You can't have any spaghetti. You have gum. I don't want my gum anymore. Oh, oh, Carl, did I tell you? I met this totally awesome person over by the auction tables today. Yeah, she was imaginary just like everyone else, wasn't she? No. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, fine. But she put down a really good donation. She sounds nice. Yeah, well, I don't trust Nathan's taste in imaginary friends. <laughs> Carl, you have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, last week, you tried to, like, spin your tires to impress somebody, and you totally do not have the right car for spin your tires. You ran it right into a power box. Dude, you, like, knocked out half the power of Sarasota. Well, I spun my tires last week. Adam remembers. He was there. Weren't you, Adam? Yeah. When you were stuck in the mud. It's okay, Carl. We totally forgive you for your lameness. <laughs> Dude, you know what's not lame, though? Did you see the massive pile of clothes that were taking the people in need in Australia? Haiti. I mean, yeah, Haiti. Anyways, like, is so much. I don't even think my mom has that many clothes. Dude, I didn't know that many clothes existed. <laughs> yeah. Man, we're going to be handing those out as long as a lots of food. I mean, lots. <laughs> and the food, don't get any ideas, Adam. <laughs> but I'm hungry. You're always, You're always hungry. hungry. So? So we'll be keeping an eye on you. We'll pour some of that Haitian well water in your drink when no, you're not looking. No, no, I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> I don't think him will have to worry about him anymore. <laughs> yeah, but for Rizzle, this is going to be one intense trip. It's, it's no complaining and definitely not for sissies. Sorry, Nathan. Hey. <laughs> hey but you, you know what? Carl's absolutely right. It's going to be a very good trip and be able to show God's love to all the people in Haiti and be able to give them good stuff that they need. It will certainly happen. God's going to do some great things on this mission trip. That's what we're hoping. Our prayers and hopes are that God will be able to work through us to reach out to those in need over there in Greece. Haiti. Oh, uh, Haiti. And that he will do some great and mighty things. Yeah, he might even cool the temperature off over there a little bit. <laughs> True that. Hey, no complaining. That's okay, Adam. This coming from the guy who complained to the new temp that your coffee wasn't exactly 104 degrees. You, you know I can't drink it at any other temperature. <laughs> uh-huh. Right. And you know what, guys? Speaking of temperature, it's about time for us to head out. Carl, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, my word. Anyways, thanks for watching 61 Minutes. 
Where the news is right. And the guys are tight. And the coffee's always 104 degrees. <laughs> this is Carl. This is Adam. And this is Nathan saying goodnight. Good night. Good night.